Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. Just about 11 minutes before 8 o'clock, we get ready to wrap up the show this morning. But before we do that, we head back to Tobago. It is Tobago Thursday, after all, to see how they celebrate Republic Day. And this morning, I want to welcome the Special Projects Coordinator at the Division of Tourism, Culture and Antiquities at and Transportation at the THA. Uh, Jesse Taylor joins us via Zoom. Good morning, Jesse. That's a good morning to you, to Tobago and, and all of Trinidad. And thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Now, I understand that there's a special celebration that happens in Roxborough when it comes to Republic Day. Tell me a little bit about it. So, indeed, for quite a number of years, it has become a yearly staple. It has um, always been something the, the people of Tobago have looked forward to as one of the items and the activities we have on the island of Tobago. This year, we are proud to present yet another edition. Um, it's titled Jubilation, it's Rhythm, uh, Passion, and Pride. And I think those three words um, certainly indicate how we feel about what we're doing, how we are being able to, we are selling the the items of Tobago and putting those things main stage that largely has been some of the things that we are proud to showcase in its natural, um, traditional, indigenous form. And of course, with that, a lot of passion and a lot of pride, because 47 years is a long, long, long time of things that we have achieved and so proud to showcase. Nice. So pa rhythm, passion, and pride. I love to see the combination and the celebration of uh, all things Tobago. We're going to continue celebrating as a republic. So give me the details about it. How can people get more information? So, or actually, before they get more information, what time does it kick off on Sunday? So, yeah, so now another stage. So earlier in the day, there is at another, um, under, uh, an, another um, um, area will be a formal parade that has been about just a few years. With one of the things we do is almost like a uh, um, military parade, uh, military parade. So there are going to be uh, some activities earlier in the day. And then the village in itself will also have what is a kind of regatta celebration that's earlier in the day. And then right about five o'clock, we kick off with some pre-show activities. Um, the rhythm would really be there because we put in focus the two uh, bands uh, on the eastern end, steel pan. So a national instrument should be played between the um, five and six o'clock and then the formal concert starts at six and ends with a fireworks display at eight o'clock and we have um quite a lot of artists on uh we will actually be blessed with the the, the fire services our band would be one of the main acts we have there we are also be having the uh the green one um kind of so in the form of jason fraser we'll be having winners from the Prime Minister's Best Finish Trophy Competition, which just culminated and would have started with the 60th year in the form of Zante, um, in the uh, touch and uh, encore folk performers. We have notable things from the, the heritage as well, which just also concluded the status this mm -hmm. year in the form of Charlottesville, um, New Edition, and we, quite a lot of Lakers. We have Chris Ramsey, uh, a ranger of, of the wedding band in Tobago. We have a steep band blowout, national songs. You just name it. And I think you're in Tobago. And if yeah. you get to Tobago, yeah. then Tobago is a place to be at Sunday. It sounds like it's a jam packed day filled with lots of activities, festivities, and celebration. Yeah. Yes, indeed it is. Yeah. It's always a pleasure for us to um, do these kind of things. So Sunday, the 24th of September, at the Sid Gray Stadium in uh, Roxborough, at the Roxborough Complex, we will be doing these things as we celebrate uh, celebrate to be with excellence in our, our national instruments, our dances, um, those traditional legacies that we hold so near that has made us the unique for the people we are as an island. We want to put those things center stage and celebrate all of that in Jubilee because we are extremely happy for the distance we have come as a proud people. And we are so much, so looking forward to all of these um, beautiful yeah. things that have yeah. made us. Um, Mr. Like Taylor, tell me, tell, me why, tell me why the celebration of Republic Day in particular is so, is so special to the division. I, I see it because of, it, it because um one it uh, is a commemoration of an occasion of the country's um um alignment with its first parliament session that really paved a way for 
uh, several things that happened. I mean, we out of that we're able to have what is we now have as the Tobago House of Assembly. We now have um, uh, emerging um, uh, on the island people who now represents us in uh, what we call a Tobago government, and it helps us uh, with our patriotism and like our pride and how we as a people can move from and learn from the past, and as we celebrate what is uh, we anticipate to be a um, prosperous future, we prepare for that in so many ways. And it's because uh, sometimes we don't even often uh, recognize the wonders that we are blessed with, those natural resources, those things that um, um, we have to cherish as um, things that we the bounty of the land. So we are getting together, um, and as we know what to do, to bring some chair, uh, despite what some of the challenges we face, to know that we can make it if we try, if I use the word of the style. Most definitely. Well, I'd love to see the celebration Sorry. happening. But well, one thing we didn't mention was, is there a cost to enter the concert? No, no, not at all. This is our, as our usual annual gift to the people. And um, it's also a way to, um, for the community cohesion to ensure that we provide some um, com um, community spirit um, in, in terms of the way we allow them to showcase what they do and an economic um, spin for those people who are into entrepreneurship and who are doing the, these things that are going to be a compliment. And that's by, when I say that, we call it every food, craft, art, and those kind of things. So it's uh, all the uh, packed the uh, large in the evening is where we would be able to end with some fireworks as we look to the skies and seek guidance from see the ancestors to be good language. Well, all right. Fantastic. Let me say thank you so much, Mr. Taylor, for joining us on the Now Morning Show this morning. And congratulations to the team. Before you go, though, where thank can you. people get more information if they want it? So if they do so, they can do it at 639-2125. Our extension is 206-207-208. And we are certainly um, on the Facebook and we is a page and we are also on the divisions page. And this is all out of the, the Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and Transportation in collaboration with the Office of the Chief Secretary. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Taylor. Do enjoy the rest of your day. So my pleasure. Thank you very much, and do have a good weekend as well. And happy with Thank Republic you. to Trinidad and to be. Yes. Definitely. Thank you so much. Enjoy. All right. Well, that's Jesse Taylor, Special Projects Coordinator at the Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities, and Transportation, representing the THA. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we bring the show to a close for today, being Thursday, the 21st day of September. Tomorrow, we celebrate Republic Day, even though I look like I'm celebrating already. Both me and Kimberly in our red, white, and black today. But tomorrow, we're going to celebrate Republic Day in fine style right here on the Now Morning Show. Do enjoy the rest of the day. Remember to go out there and make a difference today and now, because together we aspire. And if together we perspire, then together we move most definitely can achieve on behalf of Kimberly D'Souza and the entire team here at the Now Morning Show. And at TTT, I wish you a fantastic day. I'm Rokas. See you guys tomorrow, God's willing.